welcome to Denis Osadebe University so guys today let me take you on a very quick tour around this school and show you the mega upgrade that has been going on in this particular school currently we are at the outside school gates showing you the school premises outside the gates and here you can see the in front gates of the school so let's head inside and show you what it looks like We are now inside the school premises. So over there at my left, the building you just saw right now, that building is the admin block, the administrative block. So guys, welcome back to my channel. It's still Moses Okeke here. So today we want to quickly take you on a tour around Denis Osarebe University in Asaba Delta State. So guys, before we proceed, we want to let you know that Denis Osadebe University was established by the Delta State Government in 2021. And the school was formerly Delta State University Campus, Amway. The school was also named after someone we called Denis Choko, um, Chukwode or Chukwode Osadebe who died in the year 1994 he was a um, former premier of midwestern region of nigeria a politician a poet and also a journalist these are just a few things we need to know about the history of this school so guys let's quickly dive into today's business let's go guys So we are now heading to some faculties, you know, some buildings. So over there, what you can see there, I think is faculty of agriculture and the other samples is a faculty of science. Maybe both of the faculties are using the same building, but I don't know because um, down, down there again, we still saw another agricultural uh, faculty of agriculture new established building like new building and there you will see it as we proceed so guys the major upgrade because this is my first time of coming to this school i have not come to this school before this is my first time and uh, the school is uh, looking dry because today is sunday i went there on sunday to go and take these videos though i saw some students but there are not many due to it's on Sunday and there are no um, school activities. So I only saw some few students when I went there being Sunday. So as we proceed, you can see for yourself that uh, there are some certain up, um, upgrade in the school. Though I have not been to the school before, but I believe some of the things I'm seeing, I'm seeing here are still new. So it shows me that they are just a um, recent upgrade so but one thing i love about this school is that um, the environment looks so clean and uh, everything looks so kept like they have along the road you can see some baskets for waste bin so you hardly find anything like such of water or um calm water along the road any particles of you know waste uh waste product so the school looks so nice and neat but a lot needs to be done but they are doing their best as i can see here and another thing i enjoy about this school is um, the trees 
they provided enough trees for shelter and that is it so guys as we are heading down you'll be seeing things for yourself i will not continue talking to the end of the video as you can see the video is a little bit long around 20 22 minutes video so i did it that way just to make sure that i cover most of the school so that is the main reason so down there as we are heading down there you will see the department uh, the faculty of um, agriculture their new building and the next building will be um the main school auditorium and the next phase we will be heading to is some other faculties offices and their, their business centers and they again will be heading to um a female hostel um and the, then the male hostel then we call it for a day so let's go guys and uh, you'll be seeing things for yourself So here is the faculty of uh, agriculture, the new building, and the other one is uh, the main school auditorium. They just write it main auditorium. So guys, never mind uh, what my camera is doing over there. I mistakenly uh, minimize the brightness instead of zooming in, zooming in the building. So that is why it's the 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 brightness went. Uh, went in, you know like went to something else so sorry let's proceed and still be showing you around so the name of the vc of this school is a uh, prof ben ea or hojafo be putting the name on my screen so you see for yourself so let's keep on showing you what the school premises looks like let's go guys
so you can see there are many places that have not been developed a lot of bushy areas i cannot proceed down below because i went there only me so never wanted to take any risks by going to some lonely path that is why i ended up uh, you know cutting that side off where i just showed you now is their business center like i told you earlier their business center where you do your photocopy your typing work and the rest over there is another building i forgot to capture the name you know where they actually did in there and i, I believe it's one for court or the other so right now we are heading to the female hostel couldn't get more i don't know if there's there are other uh, hostels but these are the only female hostel i could see because like i said earlier i went the only me so i no went there with anybody or you know try to contact any students to take me around so i do everything by myself because i got i sorry i got discouraged when i first entered the gates because some you know i met a student uh, i met a student on my way inside the school premises and he told me that uh, videoing or pictures are not allowed inside the school premises but and uh, that never stopped me i proceeded and uh, the gate man said okay you can go and take pictures and uh, nobody will disturb you so and i went inside and do my thing nobody harassed me or disturbed me so here right now is the female hostel the fence you just saw before is the is inside the female hostel over there is church you can see some students fashion what over there i i think uh, i heard one of them saying that uh, there is no lights i think that's why they are fashion what over there so there's no light to pump their own water and that is why they are fashion water over there that building over there i think is church building so from here now we'll be heading to other parts but guys one thing about this school is that i can still find more old old buildings here like a lot of old buildings are still inside this school a lot of old buildings that need total rehabilitations are still inside this school well and i think uh, there are some still uh, villagers that are still inside the school also i think they are living inside the school and here we are this is the male hostel the female hostel is more attractive and more conducive than the male hostel the male hostels look so old it's very very old and it needs total rehabilitations these are the male hostels i don't know if there's any other male hostel but this one I could capture and it's looking so old i could not get it more clearly but from the ones i showed you right now you can see that the building is very very old it's very very old building very very old building my dear very very old it needs to be fixed something needs to be done that is the building you can see over there that is the building so it's very very old the only one Good thing I love about it is that the environment is cool and calm and they have enough trees to protect you against a, a harshness of the sun and the rest. Here is their medical center. And, uh, we are now heading back to where we started from. So guys, let's keep on keeping on. You can see over there, those are the um, baskets for putting your waste uh, products so let's continue you can see how the the whole environment is looking talking about the environment the environment is okay and nice it's very uh very very cool and calm enough trees in short everything is looking so green the only fixing i think they need here now is the buildings the structure they have inside this most of the buildings are very very old ones they are very very old they need to be fixed it needs total rehabilitations and i think they have more old buildings than new new ones push uh, in no due time i believe they will do something about it so guys let's keep going and i will keep showing you more departments and there are so there's other departments that are very very 
discouraging i'm telling you a lot of departments are discouraging very very discouraging like the building the building is i don't know how to put it here here are the bushy side of the square again i captured the bushy side this place is very lonely <laughs> i just had to go through this part just to get you know the bushy side of it is very lonely these are the i think these are the farming area where they cultivate cassava and the rest of them so guys let's continue let's continue let's continue watching the video and don't forget to drop your questions via my comments section if you have any So, so currently, I don't think they they offer all the courses in this school. From what I got from some students, I think the only faculties available right now in this school is uh, the Faculty of Agriculture, like I showed you earlier, and they have Environmental Science. They have Faculty of Computing. They have Faculty of Art. They have Faculty of Science. Faculty of Management Science through Shushu Science. That's the only faculty they have currently in this campus. So, if you want to know the courses or the departments available on all these faculties, you can go to their websites to get more details and uh, other things. And they also offer pre-degree programs and uh, other things. So. I will be leaving the link of their websites in my screen. Over there is another um, department office. I think HUD office or something, but I've forgotten. So let's proceed, guys. Here is another old building. I think this thing is work and the science department or something like that. You can see how unkept the building is looking like. The environment is okay, but the building is old. Over there is another department or something. I could not get more clear uh, pictures what was written, uh, written on that signpost. So over there is the back of the admin block. So let's keep on going so we are heading to another dilapidated area another dilapidated area where you find some a very old old building this is one of them though this one is still clean this one is being maintained i think this is a lecture hall i think this is a lecture hall it looks like one they are still maintaining this one. Uh, I will not look as get that one, sure. They are still maintaining that particular one. Here they said Nings something something. I don't know. Nings Nings um assessment or assignment twenty twenty three or so. So let's head on. There are many buildings that I don't know what is being used for, but there are still some buildings which some villagers are still residing in, like where the villagers live in. I don't know, because I see some old buildings that I don't think is being owned by the school. I think it's being owned by villagers. This is another building. I think this building was donated by somebody or Barra today. A department of Animal Science. I will zoom it out so you will see for yourself. Don't. Uh, it looks like where they train, where they feed animals. I don't know because this building is very very old. It's very very old. Don't know what is being used for. 
here is another building i don't know what that one is being used for sorry guys that's i'm just making everything look so you know quick you know i'm just trying to make cut the video short not to exceed the amount that i budgeted for it so here right now i think this is a faculty of art i'll show you the signpost over there i think this is faculty of art but right now i think it's being used by church people because i saw some i saw some church activities going inside so it's being used by church people so from here we'll be heading to where we come from from the school gates and from there we'll call it a day so over here is the sun post the sun post of the faculty you can see over there you can see for yourself that is it faculty of art so guys from this place right now i think we are heading to what is it called their recreation their recreation center no the the playground but honestly the playground some of the play center i see there has not been used for a while i don't know if they have abandoned that side or maybe students don't make use of it i don't know if that's in over there is a lecture hall constructed by ted fund or something so as you can see for yourself these are one of the playground i don't know the type of uh, game they play here then the next one is a uh, i think is handball something is handball yeah the next one you're gonna see is handball so guys i think this is where we're gonna be ending this video today please don't forget to sub to this channel share with your friends click on the thumb up button click on the notification bell and there have a lovely day bye guys Thanks for watching.